Hello and welcome to Pavli. In this video, we are going to discuss another amazing feature of Pavli Chartflow that is connecting unlimited WhatsApp numbers. Yes, that's right. You can connect unlimited WhatsApp numbers or WhatsApp business accounts inside a single Pavli Chartflow account. And the best part is you don't have to pay anything extra. It includes in the same cost. So if you're having multiple WhatsApp business accounts for your business or multiple WhatsApp numbers, WhatsApp Cloud EPA accounts, you can connect all of them into a single Pavli Chartflow account. Now, how you can make the connection, how you can connect multiple accounts and use it inside Pavli Chartflow. To know this, let me take you to my screen. So here you can see that we are on Pavli Chartflow's dashboard. And in this video, as we discuss, you can basically connect unlimited WhatsApp Cloud API accounts or WhatsApp numbers inside your Pavli Chartflow account. So in the previous video of the series, we saw that how you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account from scratch. And after setting it up, how you can make the connection over here. And let me tell you that you can not just connect one WhatsApp Cloud API account, you can connect unlimited WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Chartflow. So how after creating your account, you can connect it with Pavli Chartflow, we are going to see it. Here, we just have to click on this add WhatsApp number button and then we have to enter the permanent access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID of our WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm expecting that you have already created your WhatsApp Cloud API account and you have reached to this app dashboard page under developers.facebook.com. If not, if you have any kind of doubts or confusion while setting up your WhatsApp Cloud API account, we have already created a video on the complete process which is live on the channel. You can just refer to that video and set up your account. After setting up your Cloud API account, we have to copy this phone number ID from here, from this EPA setup page and paste it over here in this pop-up window of phone number ID. Then after that, we will just copy the WhatsApp business account ID and paste it over here as well. Also, in the previous video, while setting up our Cloud API account, we have generated a permanent access token. The access token which you can see on this EPA setup page is a temporary access token which will expire after some time. But the permanent access token which we have generated will never expire. So we have to enter the same permanent access token, same meta access token over here in this access token field. So I have already copied my access token, just let me paste it over here. So we have entered our meta access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. Then just select the folder of your chat flow account in which you want to connect this WhatsApp Cloud API account and click on next. After clicking on next, Pavli chat flow will give us a webhook callback URL and webhook token. And we have to add this callback URL and this webhook token in our Cloud API account so that the notification of new messages or the WhatsApp message updates or the template updates and other details can be received from WhatsApp Cloud API inside Chatflow as well. And it will complete the whole syncing process. Now to add this webhook URL, just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your WhatsApp Cloud API account. Right now we are under API setup section, but we have to go to configuration. After coming to configuration section, here you can see that we have this field of callback URL. In the field of callback URL, we have to paste the exact same callback URL which Pavli Chatflow gave us. After that, here it is asking us for the verify token. In the verify token field, we have to enter the same webhook token given by Pavli Chatflow. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. After pasting it, just click on this verify and save button. And as we click on verify and save, you can see that these details will be verified and saved over here. After saving it, this page will refresh. And after refresh, we will see a list of different events or different event subscriptions over here. So you can see that we have webhook field that what are the details for what are the informations of webhook fields, we want to add this webhook URL. And here from this drop down, we have to basically turn on all the options over here. But the three option will not turn on over here. And we don't have to worry about that. So here you can see that we'll get the option of this detected outcome over here, which will not turn on, which will throw an error. So don't worry. We have to turn on flows, history, then message echoes will also not turn on. So you don't have to worry about that. Then we'll just select this other option as well. Then after that, here you can see this option of messaging handover. This option of messaging handover will also not turn on. It will throw another error and we don't need it to. So you just have to select all the options, turn on all the buttons or subscribe to all the events which are turning it on. Then after selecting all the options, after subscribing to all of these events, what we have to do, we just have to save the settings. So let's just wait for a few seconds over here. 
to turn on or subscribe to all of these events. And once it is done, this process of connecting your WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pavli Chatflow is completed. Now, after this, we just have to click on this close button over here. And as you click on close, here you can see that our WhatsApp Cloud API account is connected over here with Pavli Chatflow. And if I click on this drop down here, you can see the webhook token for the same as well. Now, right now, earlier when we started the video, I had only one account in my Chartflow account, which was the demo number, a demo account. And we are accessing that account over here. Now, if you have connected multiple WhatsApp Cloud API account or your business numbers in Pavli Chartflow using the same process and want to access the inbox of any particular account, here in front of those accounts, we have this option of access inbox. If I click on this access inbox button, you can see that the cloud API account or this particular account in our chart flow will open in front of us. So you can see that now we are accessing this particular account in Pavli chart flow. So in this way, using this process, after setting up your WhatsApp cloud API account, you can connect unlimited WhatsApp cloud API account inside Pavli chart flow and manage all of those accounts and all of those WhatsApp number from one single Pavli chart flow account itself from this whole dashboard. So I hope this video was helpful to you and it helped you understand that how you can connect Pavli chart flow with multiple WhatsApp business accounts or WhatsApp cloud API accounts, basically unlimited accounts and use them over here and manage all of your WhatsApp accounts at one place. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.